to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we are reviewing a beer that I picked up at the LCBO. This is Smutty Nose's Imperial Stout. It's an amazing thing to get a lot of Smutty Nose beers lately into the LCBO as well as a bunch of other breweries beers that have been getting into the LCBO. First and foremost, let me say to this, uh, this beer I've been told it runs from anywhere from $4 to $6 in the US for this size. Here in Canada, it's $10. So. We're, we're going to, just in case my review talks about price and says that it isn't worth the price, that is the difference. We are basically double the price for this bottle than what the U.S. market is paying. 10% alcohol, brewed in New Hampshire. Uh, let's try it, right? Now, I do believe this is considered a uh, American Imperial Stout, which would mean it would be a little hoppier. Uh, if that's the case, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it, because I'm usually more of a... Uh, I do like the darker beers myself, personally, more than the, the uh, more golden beers, and I like the more roasty, more chocolatey, more, uh, more caramelly, more... more traditional stouts more than I like the uh, the new American hybrids. So, we'll see what we think, eh? Beautiful look, though. Black is the black blood of the earth. Beautiful head. Uh, brown head. It's not even it's not even that off-white or mocha. It's, it's a brown head. It's just not as brown as it could be. It has a nice movement to it, too. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Oh, and not much of a snap, crackle, pop, so that's a sticker. That's that's a head that will stick around. It means I'm not going to be able to get all my 650 into my glass that holds 650 milliliters. Um, smell. Let's see. Okay. A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee, a uh, little bit of alcohol astringency on the nose. That little that little twang of uh, of alcohol that you can get sometimes on uh, on alcohol uh, or rubbing alcohol. Even if you sniff that, that little twang that burns the back of your nostrils, that's in there. But again, coffee, molasses, uh, chocolate, and uh, it smells like. Mm. It's got that uh, centennial-like smell to it for me. Uh, that slightly, slightly uh, earthy, woodsy scent. Um, don't know what hops are in it. It's just kind of what it smells like to me. Um, just like most American IPAs and American stouts that I've had uh, lately, uh, like the Simcoe Centennial type of thing. Uh, we'll see what it's like though, won't we? Cheers, guys. Okay. Mouthfeel. Nice. Nice and thick and creamy. Uh, Mouthfeel is proper. Taste. Mm. It's there and it isn't there at the same time. I mean, it tastes good and... It tastes awesome and awful at the same time for me. Um, it's going to be one of those weird beers for me, I think. 10% alcohol, you're not getting the alcohol burn, so there's a plus on it. It's a 10% alcohol beer that doesn't let you know it's 10% alcohol. I could smell it when I was sniffing it out of the bottle. I can't taste it when I'm drinking it out of the glass. That's an A plus right there. Visual appeal, A plus. Um, scent, probably a B. Uh, flavor on its own, I'm not 100% sure yet. There is a lot of roastiness though to this. There's a lot of roastiness and um, almost like a uh, almost like a spruce tip to, uh, spiciness there in the background. For anyone that's drank spruce beers or anything like that, it, it just kind of has that to it. Yeah, it almost has a. Uh, Almost has a winter warmer like uh, spice front forefront to it. I mean, there's a uh, some weird uh, almost candied sweetness in the forefront. That's it's what's throwing me off on this whole thing. 
it's not even the it's not even the hops like I thought or anything like that. It's this weird uh, forefront that I can't put my finger on. There's a witch here. Yeah, of oh, like vanilla and cinnamon, almost like a. Uh, Almost like an interesting, uh, um, like uh, a latte, uh, uh, almost like a chai latte. It's it's a very interesting beer that way. Uh, very good. Um, would I spend ten dollars on a bottle of it? No. But if I lived in the states and it was five dollars a bottle all the time, I could see myself doing it. It is a very interesting beer. Nice, uh, nice woody, chippy background. Nice dirty background. Uh, a little touch of cedar and spruce in there. And coffee. Lots of coffee. A uh, little dark chocolate, and then your forefront is that like molasses, uh, vanilla, and cinnamon for forefront that's very interesting as well. At a 10, I don't know, a 7.5, it's actually a good beer. It's just, uh, it's not what I was expecting, and it's not something that I would uh, look to very often. Thank you guys. Bye.